Good morning guys. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Deborah. For the people that don't know me, it's still 2023, but I'm probably going to upload this when it's already 2024, which is crazy. Praise the Lord for a new year. Thank you, Jesus, for a new year. Right now, I have my brother and his girlfriend staying over, and we're just gonna head out today. We had a full-on day yesterday, but I didn't really vlog, and I was like, today I'm gonna vlog again. So I'm gonna take you along with us. Let me introduce you to my brother and his girlfriend. What's happening over here? Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Playing guitar. How is it going? It sounds good. Okay, thank you, thank you. I am, uh, I'm vlogging right now, so I'll get a little shot of you. Okay. Playing guitar. Go on. Yeah. Do your thing. Maybe later. Oh. This is a closed session. Oh. <laughs> the people, the people are not allowed to see. Uh, no. It's oh. a closed session, man. You heard him. It's a closed session, guys. I can't show you. He's getting a little bit shy. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting shy. Okay, I'll get it later. I'll get a sneaky shot, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are now in Shepherd's Bush. We made it. We're gonna go to Westfield because we want to check out Sephora and just do a little bit of shopping, right guys? Huh? Huh? What? Niks. I'm proud to jullie niet zoveel als ik film. Jullie zeggen helemaal niks. Ja, maar jij gaat veel en ik kan geen airwalls goed. Oh ja. Ja, dan is het een beetje ongemakkelijk. We zijn achtergrond verstrand. Achtergrond? Nou. right now and I'm dropping these two off and the train they're going back to the Netherlands are you guys ready to go back home yeah yeah, yeah. back to your life the normal life the normal life quiet life yeah what did you think about London it's crowded crowded yeah but it's very fun yeah there was a lot to do yeah Five. we walked around for uh, quite some time. we walked a lot of steps yeah. What did you think? I liked it. You liked yes. it? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Success. London has been approved. <laughs> <laughs> say that but I'm gonna do it anyways because this is the first vlog of 2024 listen I'm doing my makeup and I heard some noise in the living room and I was scared and I went out there and there's men cleaning the windows but when I tell you my heart is <laughs> racing let me see let me see if they're still here let's see they're gone now wait let's see oh you can still see their little look Y'all, this contraption right here. This window is still wet though. Oh, they're down there. They're down there. Y'all, I'm telling you they were right here. The windows are clean, but guys, when I tell you that gave me a heart attack. <laughs> uh. So 2024 updates on life. I have officially left my job. My job is done. 
and I don't know how I feel about it yet. I still don't think it's sunk in. Today is actually the first day that I was supposed to be working like usual, but I won't be there, which is so strange and sad. I will miss my colleagues. Then in a few days, in three days, I believe. Yeah, in three days, I'm gonna go to Paris, go to Paris with a friend of mine. We're just going for one day and one night and then the rest of the day and come back in the evening. So it's not that long. We're gonna go to Paris with God. We're gonna make it a little mini holy girls trip to prepare for the bigger one that's to come later on in the year. If you didn't know, I'm gonna be hosting a holy girls trip, just a holiday that's centered around God. Instead of partying and clubbing and all these crazy things, we're not gonna be doing none of that. We're gonna be doing Bible studies, worship sessions, fellowship, and just exploring God's world, how he created it. So I'm super excited about that. Anyways, I'm ready. My makeup is done so I'm just gonna go and make a cup of tea and sit down have my quiet time and Bible study time with the Lord which is very important I like to start my day off that way do that in the morning and then the whole rest of the day is set up in the Word of God so let's go oh the window guys are coming back up I'm scared <laughs> they're behind the Christmas tree which we, I need to get rid of that tree today, by the way, but can you see this? Oh, they're coming. Ooh. <laughs> Are they gone? <laughs> they're gone. All right, I've got my cup of tea ready right here. So let's take this and let's go sit in my little chair in my Bible study corner, which I have something exciting to say about later, by the way, but. First of all, let's do this. Also, I'm gonna turn my Christmas tree on right now for the last time because I'm gonna get rid of this today. Dun dun, because it's now January and it's time for it to go. It's gonna be weird to have all this space back and I'm gonna miss it. It gives a little bit of atmosphere, a little bit of light, which is cute. Yeah, what I wanna do later is I got this notice board Ta-da! That I want to put up on this wall and I want to use this to memorize Bible verses on post-it notes. 2024 is going to be the year where we know the Bible inside out. <laughs> Genesis again and just reading through it slowly seeing everything that's happening is crazy it just shows God's heart and character so well that all these people in the word Abraham um, Joseph Jacob all of them Isaac did very questionable things yet the Lord's hand was on them wherever they went whether we are faithful or not our God will always stay faithful and you can really see that throughout Genesis. And I pray that we will be able to see that throughout our lives in 2024 as well, that we'll be aware of what he's doing because God is always doing something. Very often, we're just not aware of it. We just brush it off like it's nothing when actually God is speaking today. He is speaking. So yeah, I'm just reading through Genesis. I've read the portion for today. I'm just gonna let that sink in. I'm gonna finish drinking my tea and then I need to get rid of the ornaments on this tree and I need to put it on an app. There's an app that you can use to put a picture of what you want to go to recycling and different drivers will offer to pick it up for a certain amount of money. So I need to do that to get rid of this tree. You've been a real cutie, but it's time for you to go. I cannot imagine all the needles that are gonna come off of this. I'm not ready, but I need to do it. So I'm gonna do that now. The aftermath, the tree is all naked and bare. And there's a bunch of needles on the ground. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I still have to move the tree downstairs. So I bet there's gonna be a trail of needles throughout <laughs> my flat. But yeah, she's bare and I've posted a little ad on this app. It's called Tip Tap right there, which, oh, here's the picture that I've put up. I've put it up for 20 pounds and somebody's already accepted it between two and four o'clock. It is now 12 o'clock. So 
you basically put what you need help with. It's super convenient. You can use it for when you move house. You can use it for recycling, like my ad is here. It now says help is on the way, so I've selected someone. Or for moving, here somebody wants a desk to be delivered. Anyways, so yeah, this app is very convenient. I've used it quite a few times. So somebody will come to pick this tree up later, which is amazing. I think that I'm gonna take the tree and put it by the door for now so that I can clean here already and I won't have to rush when the guys arrive. Oh, this is not that bad. Oh, oh I hear all the needles now. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Just keep going, it's fine. Oh, my ceiling. I'm just gonna leave the tree here for now. And I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, to be honest. Right, a few needles over here. It looks so light now over here all of a sudden. I didn't realize how much light the tree was blocking out. That's actually crazy. empty it looks now it's almost echoey in here it is echoey in here so the windows are clean which is lovely i'm gonna put the notice board on that wall and i'm gonna take the plant back from my bedroom and put it in here so let's do that now this plant right here can go back to her home her original space she's back in her spot this looks really weird now it looks a bit random. I probably have to get used to it again. I'm gonna take the tree down now. Let's see how I get on. I'm gonna make a mess in the hallway, which is not good, but what can I do? It's done, guys. The tree is gone, but I need to hoover the hallway. There's like a whole trail of needles to my flat they will know that it's me they will know so i'm gonna i'm gonna go for the hallway guys i spent an eternity hoovering the hallway and the rest of my flat but it looks like there's no needles around anymore which is great now i'm just gonna have a little juice because i haven't had anything to eat yet I'm kind of fasting i guess am i fasting a little bit i'm definitely intermittent fasting i got these little magic mind juices productivity shots there's a bunch of good ingredients in here that help you during the day boost energy and focus, crush procrastination, okay? Elevate mental clarity. I've been drinking these for the past two days, three days, one every morning. Right, for the notice board, I have command strips. So I wanna put it like that on this wall. Click strips together, click, okay? Like this, oh. Remove one side of liners, stick to the frame as shown. Okay. Command strips are at the back. I'm still pressing them down a little bit. And then I have this little level thing that I'm gonna use to mark where I want this to be. I'm gonna remove the other side of these. She's done, everybody. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, since I have this beautiful notice board behind me, as you can see, on camera, it looks a bit small. She looks very tiny, <laughs> but it's a decent size. Got these little pins as well. They're heart-shaped ones, and I got these little sticky notes that look quite funky. I was like, if I overlap them all on the board, that's gonna look quite cool. Anyways, now I think that we should write down the first 
verse that we're gonna memorize this week. I might, I don't know how often I'm gonna do this, like once a week or a few times a week. At the end of the year, hopefully the whole board will be filled and all the scripture will be on our hearts, on my heart. If you wanna do it with me, then that would be amazing. So that when the enemy comes, we can fight against him and say, no, because I know that the Bible says in this exact verse, this and this and this, you know? first Bible verse that I'm gonna do is Isaiah 43 verse 19 where it says see I am doing a new thing now it springs up do you not perceive it I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland or some um, translations say behold I am about to do a new thing Isaiah 43 verse 19 and at the back it says the verse I will put this one in the middle because it's the first one and why not? And I will put the pin on the side like that. There it is. Exciting stuff, guys. Thank you, Jesus. So this is in my back room now, which is, I'm turning it into a prayer room basically, which is important. Yeah, I like it. Exciting. Good morning, good morning everyone. It is now the next day, it is the weekend. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I have not been in the gym in a long time, which is not good. It's a new year, AKA making use of my gym membership and getting active. I always try to do 10,000 steps a day, but it's also good to actually go to the gym and train these little, these little teeny tiny muscles. What muscles wear, girl? <laughs> I've just spent this morning reading the word, um, just kind of doing a little Bible study. And I picked up this little devotional again that I got, which is by Lisa Bevere called Fiercely Loved. It's just a 90 day devotional speaking about God's love for us as his daughters. Grab that today with my Bible study. And now I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm just grabbing the last bit. Um, and what was I thinking? I'm just gonna fill up my water bottle thing. I'll put some ice in it as well. This bottle, can bottle, is like a thermos one. So if you put tea in there, it keeps tea warm or cold things, it keeps them cold. So put some ice in there. That cold workout water, yeah. I'm also gonna have one of these magic mind little juices again to start my day off right. I personally don't really like to eat before I work out. I know some people do. Some people can't work out on an empty stomach, but I get nauseous if I eat before I work out. So for me, it works to not eat before and to eat after. I know everybody's different, but that works for me. I'm gonna wear this coat. Wait, what's in my pocket? <laughs> no! And here I was thinking that all these Christmas tree needles were gone. I have a whole bunch of needles in my pocket. <laughs> oh no, that is so typical. Why are these in here? Get out! My Christmas tree said, girl, let me leave you with a little reminder of me. <laughs> also, if anybody has a Christian workout playlist please let me know i'm never quite sure what music to listen to because all the worship music i have is more slow paced let me know if anybody knows a good playlist that would be lovely and i'm ready to go Obviously back home now. I had a good gym session. My friend Emma did come to join me afterwards. I did my gym session, then I met her after. We had some food and just had to catch up because I haven't seen her in a long time. Then she went on to do her gym session and I went home. 
because I have some things to do. I need to record some stuff for the Faith Talks podcast. If you did not know, all the Faith Talks episodes that are being uploaded on here are on podcast platforms as well, so you can listen to them on the go. I need to pick out outfits for Paris. But first, I'm just gonna sit down and eat these apples through my legs. My legs are like spaghetti right now. That means it was a good workout, but yeah, I'm gonna sit down on the sofa right now. I've just been working for a little bit and now, let's see if I can come up with some nice outfits. Let me close this thing. Nobody needs to see me getting changed. Mm -mm. Let's see what I have in the closet. I'm already thinking of something. Can you see this outfit? I don't know. I'm wearing my little red shoes that I got. Then these jeans, cardigan. I think I'm gonna bring these two bags. So with my little coach bag. And then I just need to see which coats I'm gonna bring. I don't know if I'm gonna bring multiple coats. Maybe I'll just do one. I got this coat, by the way. I haven't shown this yet, but I got this coat at Urban Outfitters. I got it on sale and I love a good sale, guys. I love a sale. So I got this coat, which I don't know if it goes with this outfit. Mm. Yeah, it's not the aesthetic for the outfit. It's not the vibe. I'm only going for one day and one night. Why am I gonna be bringing multiple coats? That's so silly. Maybe I should bring another coat though. This is giving basic, girl. This is not, this is not giving what I thought it was gonna give. Let me put on something else. Let's try something else. Something that I will definitely bring, because we'll go for nice dinners, is I have this dress from End Other Stories. Let me put this on. This dress is stunning it's so beautiful and i haven't worn this in a very long time so i'm gonna bring this for sure let me put it on this is the dress i'm definitely taking this one and with this color this color with this color match it's a match this dress is from and other stories but i got it a long time ago during lockdown i think so i'm not sure if it's still going to be on the website if i can find it i will link it down below of course but i'm not sure you've probably seen these all over tiktok or instagram but it's these tights that have a skin colored layer in there so when you wear them can you see this it looks like your skin it's a little trickery so and this is like a a fleecy one, so it's a warm one. So I got that to wear with a skirt. I rarely wear skirts anymore, but let me see if I can come up with something. Hmm. <laughs> this outfit is not giving what I thought it was gonna give. I don't know what I'm gonna wear in Paris. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna wear anything, I think. I'm done, that's what I think. Why on Pinterest do things look so nice? And then when I put it on, it's like, dead on, girl, that's not, that's not cute. <laughs> look at this, look, what is this? <laughs> oh man, that looks so bad. I don't know guys, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I don't know, everything is ruined. I'm gonna give up for now, I'll think about it. I'll have a think about it, cause I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I'm over it. That's it, that's it.